Hi guys! I'm filming a Cassie tutorial uh, from the season 2 episode 1. I loved Cassie's. It was so simple but I loved Cassie's makeup in that episode and honestly she was probably the highlight of that episode because of the events that took place and um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone out there who didn't watch it but yeah honestly her look was my favorite look of the episode I mean obviously Maddie's look is always iconic but it's like something that's very Maddie it, there's just something about the simplicity of Cassie's makeup and then um, her outfit was great and just everything about it and anytime I see Cassie on camera like I literally convince myself I need a boob job like I genuinely think after seeing her tits on camera, I need a boob job. I really do. But I wear one of my best bras to make it look like I I have her boobs. Semi, I have her boobs. Even, I'm sure even with the best push of bra, my boobs will never, <laughs> my boobs will not look like hers. But that's okay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do her makeup from the night. I already started off. I already started my hair and did it off camera. I just curled a few pieces. Sorry, I'm shaking so much. Um, I just curled a few pieces off camera and um, I put these clips in that I found. I was like so nervous. I wasn't going to be able to find any like she was wearing like diamond uh, diamond clips. This one won't stay. I'm sorry if it like falls out throughout the whole entire video. I couldn't find any diamond clips so I just found what I could and I was I'm so happy I at least found these and I found something similar along the lines of her dress not exactly the same I know she got her dress from house of CB uh, it's $179 honestly I would buy it because it's very very cute I think house of CB is kind of worth the money because it is such great quality I have tried dresses from there before but Honestly, I don't want to spend $179 just uh, for no reason. And I don't have her boobs. It's not going to look the same on me. You know, like the whole thing about the dress that made it look so good was her tits. And I don't have that naturally. So like, just no point of me getting it. But I found something that makes me look similar to her. So, yeah. I got this from Urban Outfitters like a long time ago. I think it was on sale, you know, when they have the bins of like the sales bras and underwears and stuff. So yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get on into the video and thank you for sitting down and watching this, me do this makeup look for you guys. <laughs> okay. Bye. Well, not bye. I'm going to see you in a second, but like bye for now <laughs> hi guys sorry i um started ahead of you i didn't mean to but i took the charlotte tilbury fla flawless filter because cassie wasn't really wearing that much makeup in the in the show uh it looked like she just had very like natural makeup on so i'm gonna do the same thing and um yeah I just I thought that the Charlotte Tilbury uh, flawless filter would have been would be perfect for the look because it's very very natural and I forgot to prime my face so I'm taking the Glossier priming moisturizer and I'm putting it on my brush as I'm going in with my foundation because I don't like feeling dry like it's a pet peeve. I hate that feeling of being like, like I have no moisture in my skin. I hate that because I have pretty dry skin. Now I'm going to take my um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to just cover up that one. I have like a blemish right here and a blemish up here. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not in frame. I have a blemish right here and I have a blemish right here that I want to cover up. Um, I might put a little bit under the eyes because honestly she really doesn't have a lot of makeup on at all Like she barely even this I feel like is a lot like she really it looked like she had absolutely no face makeup And the only thing that was played up with her was her eyes slightly 
I can't even dip my finger in here anymore. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I got nails done, my nails done. And like, the things you can't do anymore is just ridiculous. I really like that Nora's Radiant, I mean not Nora's Radiant, that soft matte concealer. I used to have the Nora's Radiant. I really like that too. But this one, I don't know. It gives like really great coverage. It has better coverage, I guess, because it's matte. Like anything matte usually has better coverage for some reason. And it also is usually very smoothing. Which I could tell, which I could say this concealer is pretty smoothing. I don't want too much because honestly, like I said, she had little to none. Okay, so I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury blush, the cream blush, and I'm just putting it on my cheeks because she didn't really have anything else other than like um, blush. So I'm just keeping it natural with the blush I just moved my clip this clip is being so annoying I'm just getting really sick and tired of it eeny, meeny, oh, eeny. you know those that those videos of that girl coming in when you're <laughs> when your friend's sad on New Year's and then she has a boom auction and she's like eeny meeny and then an alcohol <laughs> that video I love that video that's like my vibe Laura Mercier translucent Okay guys, I found the color I'm looking for. I found it in this palette. And this Huda palette actually got on sale for $33. I'm gonna take Utopia and I'm gonna take Karma. Cause those are like the two shades that I'm like, that I'm looking for. I want a little bit more of the peachiness in this color, but this color is perfect. It's just, I need a little more peachiness, you get it? So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on my lid. Yeah, just like honestly, I'm really happy that I didn't put the primer. I just wanted like a wash, a wash of this color because I don't know if anyone could see it in the scenes. But I could see that she had like just this little wash color on the lid like it was like a pinky tone it could have been honestly just the undertone of her eyelids you know when you have discoloration and they might have not just even put anything but this is the color that was pulling for me when I was looking at her makeup so I just wanted to add that little detail all right I finished with the eye makeup I just have to put the rhinestones on now so I'm gonna start. I <laughs> I've been needing to get freaking glue because I don't I don't have any glue that's not black. I don't have clear glue, like eyelash glue, which is such a sin. Such a sin. I only have black glue and I obviously can't put black, so I have to use glitter glue. Glitter glue guys to do this wing and I really hope it does not it doesn't fail me because I'm not prepared.
I love that. I love this look. What the hell? This is so cute. I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera. Do you guys like it? So this is probably gonna be the most simple look ever. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put mascara on. Okay, so I finished my mascara and I just want to, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> I just want to set my blush, um, my cream blush and I'm going to set it with that Dior, the pink blush, you know, the pink blush everybody raves about. I'm going to set it with that um, because I don't, I just want a wash of color. I don't want anything too much. I'm just trying to, so I don't want it to like move. I'm gonna go in to my inner corners with this Dior highlighter the white one because she looked like she had something in her inner corner um, I saw like a little bit of something there so i'm just gonna put a little bit okay guys so this is the finished look um I just put a little bit of the Dior highlighter that I use on my inner corners on my cheekbones and I just put um, this lip tint, this wine lip tint. It's um, really, really good. It tints your lips really nicely and then I just put my Dior lip glow on top and I didn't do anything to my eyebrows. I hope you guys like the look and... <laughs> Let's give a moment for this pusher bra that is slightly made me like happy. Oh, is my nipple coming out? No, it's not. This is like one of my favorite looks I've, I've ever done, honestly. And it's just so, it's so simple. Like the hardest part is putting the rhinestones on, but like everything else about it is just like so simple. There's nothing to it. Like anyone can do this look. The only thing I'd say is the diamonds are hard, but if you have the right tools, it's not hard at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this. My boobs are sitting. I don't want my nipple to come out on camera. But anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.